Uh, I think we're live again. Um, seems to be. So let's hope this works. It's another program I'm using for at the moment. Uh, no ideas if it will crash or whatever. Um, gonna try and do it this way. Uh, we will have to see. If it will actually work and uh, keep going so everyone can see it all right that's nice so uh, I hope my mic is also working and game sounds working hello everyone so uh, I'm gonna try it on this I'm uh, just warning in advance it might crash uh, I'm now using action instead of OBS um, and I had had some troubles with action before. For some reason, my OBS is like just a black screen. So I will I will figure it out after uh, after the stream how to fix it. But yeah, at the moment we can we can see the match. That's the uh, most important thing for tonight, I think. So uh, tonight we have geese back versus frontline tactics. Two teams with twelve points each. So uh, they're competing for the first place in the WNL6 uh, tournament, or league I should say. Um, it's going to be very interesting, I think. Um, I've streamed one uh, match of Frontline Tactics, so I got to know them a little bit. And they, uh, they play very strongly um, with uh, strong calf play. Uh, so... We will see how it goes. Um, of course, as you can see, we also have Rainbow as Archer there, and uh, some infantry like either Gibby, Charlini. Um, also, if you wanna get some more info, uh, I don't think this is live yet. I'm actually totally not sure if this is live. I don't think so. Um, I'm, it doesn't seem to be live, in my opinion. Like there is not that much tension. It might be live though. I have actually no clue. Is it live for him? All right. Um, so then it is already one zero for uh, geese back. Oh, all right. So that's uh, because of some live stream troubles. Um, I seems to be going in favor of uh, oh, frontline uh, tactics. Only two members alive: Sirkin and Matt from uh, geese back. Serkin gets Raiden down though, but gets killed in the end. And Matt takes down Sparta, but Frontline Tactics getting it on time. They also had secured the flag, so total control of this second round. Um, they're also playing, uh, Giesbeck is playing as Rodox, Frontline Tactics as Nord in the first set. This still is the first set. As far as I'm aware. Um, so yeah, we have two archers on GP side. And we have only one archer, Raiden, on uh, frontline tactics side. With three infantry. Gibby, Eder and Charlini. Who are now pushing in the middle and they have the flag spawn on them. I have to see what uh, GP is going to be. They're going to be taking the core chart here and getting the advantage point for uh, their two archers, Matt and Pep Pepper, who are going to start sh getting some shots on. As you can see, their both teams are waiting to get engaged. Uh, we have some calf riding around all places, not engaging yet. Holy Warrior there. And now it's Oliveron who is going to start pushing the flag for GP. Not really any con contestants yet. And he's going to back off. Now you see Charlini here with uh, a javelin ready. Maybe we see some, uh, some nice Jeff B play. Um, and there we have. Gibby and Eater and Raiden, just everyone waiting it out. Only 1 minute and 11, 10 seconds left. Seems to be GP ready to start pushing it. And they're gonna go for the push. 
They're gonna start raising the flag. Javelins are coming in from both sides, and you have, I think there was, uh, who is it on the, on the corner here? Uh, I don't see him anymore. I think there was some outflanking going on from uh, frontline tactics, and the calf now just supporting their infantry and archers, and the flag still not raised. Only 40 seconds left, and now thing is starting to go down. As you can see. Kill for Sparta and Charlini there, but also a kill for Pusiak. And a kill for Sir Alex. Kev doing a great work there. Charlini also has infantry with a double kill. And a team kill for Holy Warrior. That's unlucky. And he gets downed now as well. And killed off by Ferunian. And now it's only Matt left. The Archer. And a clear victory with another double kill for Frontline Tactics. Bring it to 2 to 1 for frontline tactics in this first set on Reverend Village. So, uh, after the, the first round at GP1 that we unfortunately just missed out on, um, it seems to be very much in favor of uh, frontline tactics, but they have the Rodox, of course, which are by I think a lot of people seen as the OP faction even though it's a, it's an open map so maybe the Nords were more uh, of a close map team that's also what uh, I think Doom said in the interview and the flag spans over at the church so everyone has to move down because they they betted their money on a river span um, but what I was saying uh, about Doom I think he said the uh, that he rather had the factions turn around, so I, I don't remember maybe that well, but I think it's Swadia versus Vegas on the next map, on the close map, and he rather had it the other way around, Rodex and Nords on the close map, but we might see here uh, Sir Alex getting a, a nice javelin kill from behind. As you can see, um, Frontline Tactics is pushing a lot towards GP, Trying to get, like, not get them safely to the flag and giving them some pressure. As you can see the archers here running between the trees. And Joom there on calf ready to uh, engage. But in the end, they turned around to graveyard. Then go for the short way and let GP just uh, start raising the flag. Matt in a very open position there on that hill, but he got a great view though on everything. So, as he gets defended, Charlini with a javelin kill onto Pepper. That's very good for uh, frontline tactics there. Another kill for Charlini with a double, but Holy Warrior killing off Sparta. And you see Raiden there at the tree also getting some a uh, little bit pushed, but either and Sir Gibby both taking down one of GP's members and Watley very low here as well getting chased out by Sir Alex and then we have Pusiak and Matt uh, Matt now get fighting with Joom who is the horse and Raiden kills Frunian that's an unlucky team kill there for frontline tactics Raiden takes out Watley though and it's only Matt left and he got killed by Sir Alex evening it out, uh, evening it out uh, winning the first set frontline tactics with 3 to 1 That was uh, some very uh, fast play there in the three rounds. We saw clear victories for frontline tactics, not really getting in trouble too much. And Giesbeck need to change up their uh, their tactic maybe. As you can see their uh, nice kill from uh, Sir Alex. Um, but yeah, I think it was uh, very impressive. Um, we had a team kill there in the end, but from Raiden as an archer, but wasn't really much of a, a big deal. And yeah, I think the, the javelin calf really working out, the infantry as well, doing their job for uh, frontline tactics, taking out the numbers and not really making it a, a, a close combat yet. Both teams are very, very slow though on, on the game. Like they're they're really waiting it out before they start engaging the flag. But that's apparently how they play. Um, uh, 
and now I'm locked again. I shouldn't have clicked. Damn it. Uh, but yeah. Um, normally I think I will get uh, streamer mod again when we go live. So yeah, it's a it's an interesting map. Um, I think it's been played a lot, but I'm more looking forward for uh, the close close combat map, uh, Verloren. I think that was like last time uh, we streamed about I think ten days ago. Um, was uh, Lumbridge Losers versus DOF, which was one of the best games I've I've ever seen in competitive uh, gameplay. Especially the last set was so close. So uh, let's hope we get. More of the same. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Jim, for uh, giving me a stream remote. So I think we're gonna go live. Uh, let me fix the settings real quick. So it's three to one, indeed. Uh, we'll probably change in a second. As you can see now, it seems to be the same lineup, more or less, on both sides. Uh, of course, there might be still some changes before we actually go live. Let's see if uh, Giesbeck can step it up now they have uh, the Nords and see if Nords really are that much better. Both teams are ready and we're gonna go into the next set. Set number two, three to one for frontline tactics. Thanks Jim again for uh, giving me stream mod. As you can see they're pushing straight for the middle. Uh, both teams and they're gonna probably have a, a little standoff see where the flag spans wait another minute before they engage or maybe they will uh, will do something new maybe change it up a little bit start for an er early engagement as you can see here rainbow taking a very nice position might get a, a secret shot but uh, I think it was Tomias calling it out to a live uh, a and uh, means that Rainbow was getting an angle on them. So a uh, good call there from Tomias. Saving uh, the hell bar of his fellow infantrymen. And now they're slowly pushing towards the flag. Um, Giesbeck has the advantage. So they can start raising the flag. As you can see, Ra Raiden and Rainbow are going to get some... Uh, some cover from the trees, not out in the open like Matt did the previous round. And GP is gonna get some some chaffs and trying to get uh, to get a nice shot. I don't really know what Oliverin was thinking about that chaff trying to get Raiden. It's maybe a bit too far. Maybe um, like I know chaff be the javelins are, are a lot heavier, but. Kev from Frontline Tactics trying to come in and get uh, Oliverin, get, knocking him down though and uh, getting some health of him. And now GP Kev is coming in as well and this becomes a fight but GP still has a flag high on one minute left. Nobody has died yet. Just some skirmishers. We see Mains and Oliverin, uh, Oliverin sorry, uh, being very low on health though. So that might be dangerous for uh, Giesbeck and as you can see Raiden there just hiding next to that check and Charlini trying to push them off but now the Cav is gonna get get supportive there and Charlini gets support from Gibby and Sir Alex. Gibby on horseback though very surprisingly and Sirkin loses his horse there and this is really getting a cluster here. Sir, Bi uh, Sir Gibby getting killed off by Holy Warrior really doing a, a good job there. Joom and Sir Alex getting some frags as well as Pushek 
And now it's only either left there between some enemy calf. Can he take down some calf? He stays alive though. Holy Warrior killing Sir Alex. Uh, Frunian killing Matto. So that's one of the archers down. Oh, still two archers on uh, frontline tactics side. I see I also need to swap teams. I will do that in a second. And it's still going down. Double kill for either. And GP. Uh, that's frontline tactics of course. Uh, winning the game on flag there. And killing Tomias in the end. So let me let me switch sides there and change the score as well. There we go. So it's now four to one for frontline tactics. And GP just lost that round. I think it was lost on uh, on flag and then in the end uh, killing off of Tomias was a. Uh, Looking forward to go in, in GP's favor, to be honest, but they forgot about the flag and then in the end they got their low health bars, didn't manage to uh, to keep uh, keep them alive. And the flag spans in the middle, where both teams went again to the river. As you can see, there's uh, Sirkin and Joom who were at the flag, but they're just backing up their team. And as you can see, oh, Frontline Tactics actually is starting to push GP there. And Kev is, is getting around, waiting for skirmish. And there was a, a nice shot there from Means. And I think it was a team hit from Matt. I'm not completely sure. Uh, but it is frontline tactics who is going to start falling back towards the flag though. As you can see, GP is going to go over the wooden bridge. Trying to chase, chase down frontline tactics. Instead of just going for the flag, Rainbow is going to get a, a good position there. And as you can see, Doom trying to get behind the infantry, but now Holy Warrior and Pusik are getting up his back. Rainbow now getting attacked by Watley, but Watley cornered by two cavalry. He still managed to escape though. That's a pretty good job from Watley there. And Raiden getting killed off by Sirkin uh, cavalry. And now they're both are at the flag, but not yet raising it, as GP now is going to take the position in the courtyard. As Cavalry is going to try and catch some, Doom just managed to get safely away. And that's a nice kill from Sir Alex there, and now the Cavs get in. And as you can see, the infantry also starts getting a fight. Charlini and Sir Alex and Doom all getting kills for frontline tactics now. Sir Alex with a nice double kill there, and it's only... Pushek, Sirkin, Tomias and Matt left for GP and they fall like flies. But Sirkin and Pushek, Sirkin with a double kill are trying to get it back for Union with a double kill and it's only Tomias left with a slither of health and he's getting surrounded from all sides and it's Charlini who gets another double kill for frontline tactics as well. These guys are just machines, they're just killing everyone. Giesbeck trying to step it up and trying to get to get another round but frontline tactics now is just going over it and just using the, the money they get from every round and bashing through. I think I think they will have to come with a with a tactic on the on this map now or if they if they lose one more round uh, this set will be over already which would be very unfortunate but they really need to find a way and getting around I don't know maybe the infantry of frontline tactics I don't know it's their calf as well like they, they're all doing a great job and now they're also taking position of the flag with uh, GP now needing to to move across an open field where uh, I, I bet Rainbow and uh, Raiden will be very happy to see them uh, running across a whole open field Matt gets a nice shot onto Rainbow though very long angle there from Matt and uh, Rainbow needing to back off, get some defensive position. He he really didn't saw uh, Matt on that quite obvious spot though for uh, an archer to be on. But that can happen. Raiden really got a nice spot there. Rainbow is gonna gonna follow him and not really much of a, of a skirmish 
yet going down there, except Matt now really taking a lot of health from Frunion, trying to get that archer out of the way, which could do a lot to them. As you can see, Sir Alex also getting hit. Like Matt is really doing a job here, just softening up everyone. But now it's uh, Frunion who gets picked off there. Great cav work from uh, GP. As you can see, the infantry is just trying to to run around, and Matt is still alive. I think they really need to take out Math um, because he's really doing some uh, some pain to frontline tactics right now. But as you can see, the infantry is gonna get involved. Sir Alex gets circled down. Nice calf play, and Charlini finishes up, and Sir Alex again with a double kill. Sir Alex is on fire. Five kills. And Pushek now trying to trade it back off. Matt falls as well to Raiden. Uh, Sir Alex gets another kill. That's his third kill of the round. And then Rainbow with a headshot onto Holy Warrior. Six kills for Sir Alex. Some great play from Frontline Tactics. Making it 6-1 to one on the first map after two sets. Indeed, they really need to get their hype, like their HP, uh, save their HP. But also, as you can see, I think Matt did a really good job there. Like he softened up a lot of frontline tactics uh, members, but they couldn't capitalize on it. They still stayed alive. For example, like he got a shot on Rainbow on Sir Alex. Like those are important players for frontline tactics, but you need to take them out. And I think that's what. Um, What's not working on, on GP's side right now is to get rid of them. To capitalize on the damage they do. Because GP are doing damage. Like some of the rounds they're, they're really getting there. And then in the end it just, I think, I don't know, maybe maybe the experience of, of frontline tactics that's really like just pulling them off and saving them. Uh, I don't know. I think both teams are really experienced though. It's not that like, one team really has an advantage over another, but Yeah, I think it's maybe just the yeah, the I don't know how to call it, but it se it seems to me that frontline tactics really is like just on the top of their game at the moment and That's really what you need to be able to oh, oh, damn, I'm stuck again. I'm sorry uh, What you really need to to win these games um, but of course like everything can still happen it's six to one it's it's not completely over yet but I think GP really needs to get a, a tactic sorted out to maybe take out the arches um, and, and just make sure to try and capitalize on on the damage the arches do because I think as you could see frontline tactics infantry really did a great job on just finishing off the damaged infantry from GP. If like the calf comes through, damage the infantry, and then it's uh, the infantry of frontline tactics, which just finishes the job. Charlini doing a great job there, so Alex doing a great job and softening them up and even killing them himself as well. And GP just they need to capitalize on the on the wounds they're giving frontline tactics to be able to win some rounds. So I think both teams are uh, are getting ready. Need one player on GP side. Then we can uh, start the third set of this on the score line not so so balanced map. Um, we saw some great play there from both teams, some great kills, great shots. But we, we want to see some more, guys. Come on, we want we want to see like a, a good intense duel, like two v two in the end, or a one v four maybe, like just a clutch. Um, seeing it happen, there's a lot of ent anticipation on uh, on this matchup so uh, let's see rainbow joined us back so he's gonna he's gonna be playing probably I don't know Raiden with a nice kill
Uh, all right, so sides are right. I will change the uh, score line in a second. So it's six to one in total now after two sets. Right, seems that both teams are ready. So we're gonna have a restart and then we will go live into the third set. First set on the map, Verloren. So we'll have to see who wins this. It's six to one. So GP really needs to step up and win every set if they want to win this. It can be a trial, of course, that's also possible. Um, but they really need to win every single set and every single round actually to, to make a chance on winning this. As you can see, uh, Frontline Tactics is pushing for Tunnel Tower, I think, just staying on the high ground. They're playing with three calf, that's surprisingly on a close close map. Rainbow really pushing forward, trying to get some shots on on some unaware GP um, teammates. Keanu is gonna actually maybe go for it. Uh, I think the rest of GP actually is already inside the tower. Uh, inside the tunnel, sorry. Going up the tower now. And the flag spans more in favor of frontline tactics as you see them falling back and GP still are in the tunnel now uh, getting into the tower I think they're just gonna back off and uh, get down the ladder I don't know what frontline tactics really is doing both teams are just waiting at the moment uh, we see here Kaf coming in who is gonna try and get uh, Frunian but Sir Alex uh, gets us off and the flag was a little bit raised in favor of frontline tactics and now both teams are gonna start moving finally as you can see I think this is gonna be rainbow yes this is rainbow trying to get some shots on some GP members it's only rainbow playing archer for on uh, frontline tactics sides we got two archers on GP side uh, and they're gonna start pushing up their entire force as you can see Keanu is ready to, to pull some uh, shots and we got a, a nice little train going on here by uh, Frontline Tactics. It's almost like a, a soccer match where they're they're ready to uh, to get a corner uh, to take a corner. But um, we'll see. Just another standoff when timer hits only one minute to play for, and nobody is going for the flag. This seems to be really uh, we we have a skirmish of some cav in the back there but I'm gonna stay focused on this infantry because as you can see they start moving now a GP was gonna make the the charge now and Rainbow got a nice angle on them and as you can see Swadians are gonna get in there Charlini kills off Oliveron and Matt with a refrag onto Frunian Joom getting just both sides killing off members right now and that's a nice kill there from Rainbow, but Keanu with a team kill, and that's very unfortunate. We only have two calf and Keanu left one calf. Rainbow with a double kill there. Great job. And Sir Alex with a double kill. Who else than Sir Alex, of course? Just stepping it up once again. And Charlini with a, another kill as well. Sir Alex, Charlini, and Rainbow both with a 2k. Very nice work there from the whole frontline tactic side and this seems to be really go in favor of frontline tactics it's seven to one don't uh, count the other numbers i'm fixing them now so it's uh, seven to one in total for frontline tactics so gp needs to now win all rounds to be to be even try to get a um a draw on this one it was uh, again a, a really long standoff. Nobody really wanted to move, and I think that's really working out in in, in frontline tactics favor because they have the rounds on their side. They don't need to push to win this. It's GP who needs to push, and they can just wait the opportunity out with Rainbow to just get a shot, just wait it out, let it happen. Um, they ca they can lose a couple of rounds. Um, which they aren't though, they're just completely destroying all their previous teams as well. Um, maybe not always like as clear as in the scoreline. Um, again, like I, I don't think GP really deserves the scoreline it is right now. They've done, they've done some, some good play on the previous map as well. And as you can see their Rainbow just trying to surprise Keanu and Frunion now helping him out. 
Keanu really low and Rainbow killing it off with a sword, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's some archer work right there. And in the meantime, it's just keeping it on here cluster. Nobody dies. Uh, now Frunion and Oliver and die. Uh, same a rainbow with another kill and just frontline tactics as you can see guys just clearing everything out and it's only holy warrior and matt left and that's a double kill for sir gibby and just another round for frontline tactics uh, i don't know what to say much um it's just they just get get on the fights they win every single fight as you can see there there was a nice like an uh, unexpected backstep from uh, Rainbow on uh, Kiana there and then just w when it came down to just uh, I think it was almost 7v7 just melee fight there or 6v6 with some Cav involved as well but it just came down to frontline tactics winning it and as you can see now Geesepack just just waiting in their spawn um, frontline tactics just uh, as you can see, Charlini with some very nice armor there. Um, and the flex spawns in favor of Geese back though. So they might be able to pull this, this round off and uh, get another win. Have the time on their side. And they're not going to wait with uh, getting that flag up. As you can see, we got someone coming from tunnel. But Watley is blocking that way. We don't know who it is though, who is coming from tunnel. But the other... Guys from Fontaine Tactic are coming from the well. And I think it's gonna be Rainbow coming from that uh, that angle. Or it's Rainbow on top of Tower. That's more likely to be. I don't know. Um, but they're just waiting and the flag keeps on raising by uh, GP. And it's now Frontline Tactics and there's Rainbow. So it's not Rainbow who's in the tunnels waiting to, to get ready. And it's just... Everyone's just holding now. Frontline tactic is pushing Tamias away, so the flag hasn't been raised anymore. It's lowering, and now it's in frontline tactics taking the flag. And as you can see, Keanu and Matt getting some shots there. We still have one guy in the tunnels. Uh, it must be one of the Cav guys, I think. We got one of the Cavs there, Sir Alex. So it's probably Doom or Frunion. Who's there? It's probably Doom who is uh, in waiting inside the tunnels. And the flag is just getting lowered, and we only have 50 seconds left. As you can see, they're not charging. Nobody's charging. Um, and Sir Alex seems to be upset that uh, he's getting hit, or his horse is getting hit. And now it's Rainbow just staying inside that little alley there, getting bumped a little bit by Pusiek. And now the infantry fight is getting on, and we see some calf coming in. Not really doing a lot of damage, though. Everyone's just hitting each other and there's the first kill Watley killing either and Charlini with a refrag though Fiatta got a, a nice Alpa going in but ties there with a team kill from Sir Alex That's very unfortunate and Watley killing Sir Alex as well. That's a double kill for Watley Finally showing up and flag is slightly raised in favor of frontline tactics now back even Matt with a nice kill onto Frunion and we seem to have another win here for GP only Doom left as cavalry trying to get a kill, but it will be uh, a draw. Um, I didn't pay attention to the timer, but this is uh, <laughs> this is unfortunate for GP. This is really unfortunate for GP because Doom was the only one left, and they just got a draw. That's that's really unlucky. They should have gotten their, their second round, to be honest. There was some, some good play there. This time not not dying from that infantry and cavalry combo. And and just only getting a draw out of it. That's that's really unlucky. Now the flag spawns between both teams. And as you can see, it's again one cavalry coming from behind. I assume it's going to be Doom again. Trying to go for a kill. He's getting changed uh, down though by some calf. Uh, he managed to still get away and now get some support. So we have the calf fight over there. And we got again the FT train going on here behind this tree. That's, uh, I, I think that this will be a new tactic in Warband. Train tactic. Just stacking it up behind each other and then uh, charging 
on the right moment. Uh, Doom gets... Just nobody loses health there from that cat fight on frontline tactics side at least. Uh, not on GP side either, that was just a little skirm between both calves. Um, as you can see, Matt trying to get ready to get some shots on. Keanu as well, going around the back. Nobody really pushing for this flag. This is starting to be not unusual in this match. Just wait and not be too aggressive. And I think that's that's the problem with Frontline Tactic can do this because they have the advantage in rounds and they don't have to push anymore but GP really needs to do something change it up and uh, bring this match back to life which they almost did last round but unfortunately it was a draw and they're starting now they're backing off and uh, getting getting frontline tactics out of their position to give their cav a little bit more space now as you can see Watley is gonna try and push rainbow but there goes the fight. Sir Alex now kills off. Charlini as well. Holy Warrior with a double kill though. That's very good for GP. And it's a very even fight. Now Rainbow getting some shots there from side. Uh, we got Matt as well. Getting in. Charlini either, either falls to Matt with a nice shot there from uh, close range. Charlini tried to bring it back by killing Holy Warrior. Now it's only Charlini... Rainbow and Doom left with Doom with a great helm, ladies and gentlemen, and a long alpike. But he gets shot by Matto. That's really unfortunate. And now GP got got the time. They can they can do it. But it's a, again a draw. I forget the time. That's why they shouldn't wait. That's the second draw in a row, ladies and gentlemen. If this goes on, this match might take uh, another hour before it ends because both teams doesn't want to to give each other anything. They don't want to give each other anything. That's for that's for sure. Frontline tactics, like they might have won this already, but they're not gonna let GP just get the rounds. Like they're gonna, they want to win every round, and that's of course all they're right. And GP just don't manage to capture the rounds now. Like first it wasn't that they could get the kills and they would just get killed off, but now it's just they can't win their rounds. And again, they have the flag spawn in their favor. So hopefully GP can now finally win this round because they, they deserve a round. If they if they don't if they don't win any of this round on, on this set, I, I would be really disappointed because they, they deserve it. They fought for it. They deserve a round. As you can see, Rainbow is gonna get in his position. He doesn't know though that the infantry is just around the corner. I think he will get the information soon, as you can see. He's gonna try and back off a little bit. And the flag is still getting raised by Tomias, which is a great call. But there is a skimmy just laying down. And <laughs> as I say this, Charlini is just gonna be picking this up because, you know, if there is a skimmy just laying in front, so I, would, I wouldn't say no in uh, getting a skimmy. As you can see, Rainbow lost a little bit of health, though. I don't know where from. Probably one of the arches. And now the flag was in favor of frontline tactics, but it's gonna fall down and Olivrian is gonna start. And he he's just not aware. That's some bad communication there from his teammates. Uh, and now it's Tomias getting surrounded from all sides and he's probably gonna fall there. Indeed, and Charlini, Jum, and Ferunian are gonna start getting this up. As we can see here, a uh, little f archer fight. And I, it's either me that crashes or everyone, I don't know. Um, but I think I just crashed out of the game. Um, I don't know what's going on right now, but let's see if we can uh, get back in. Um, I hope we can get back in. All right, it was probably only just me who just crashed out and I don't know what happened. Uh, fight is still going on, I think. Uh, it's 15 seconds left on the board and it's Frontline Tactics who win this final set. Uh, first set, sorry, uh, third set. First set on this map. Um, bringing it tr uh, 9 to 1 now and that's very unfortunate. I think that was um, GP 
deserved really a round, at least one round. Maybe two rounds actually, you could say, but they, they deserved at least one round this this set and that's very unfortunate that they weren't able to capitalize on that. But just before I liked out there, um, I think there was some some very nice play from uh, Frontline Tactics just going for it because GP didn't have their communication there with, I think it was Oliverian, uh, Oliver, Oliverian? Sorry, uh, pushing for that flag, and he was just not watching his back. And normally, I would say his, his teammate should have called it, but that was very unfortunate right there. So I think we're gonna go down for a fourth set. It's nine to one in total. Um, sorry for just missing out at the end of that round. Um, don't think my PC can handle. Uh, Handle the streaming and just lagged out. My ping is... Uh, it's its quite stable right at the moment though. Um, we're German servers, so... Yeah, there it goes up again. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna see... GP taking Swadia's side. Frontline Tactics gonna go with the Vega side. Um, we just need one person... On GP side. And then we can uh, we can go in. Yeah, I, I I admit like the draws it makes it it makes it interesting to be honest because the previous two rounds of this this uh, third set were were very very dominant from uh, frontline tactics as of the previous match uh, map actually as well very much in favor of frontline tactics. But GP really trying to get there though. Like very unfortunate for those um, two draws because I I really think GP deserved at least at least one of those rounds. Um, I would say the first round where only Doom was left alive, and they I think they they had five still five members alive on GP side, or so that that really should have gone in their favor. Um, but on the other hand, that's maybe the tactic of just waiting. Waiting till the flag spawns, waiting till, like after the flag spawns, just wait around the flag and drag it longer. Because if frontline tactics doesn't kill them all, then it, GP won't be able to raise a flag. I, I don't know. I'm I'm not experienced enough in in competitive warband. Uh, maybe this is an old tactic, or maybe it's a new tactic. Um, but it it really seemed to have worked out in, in frontline tactics' favor too. To not even lose a round in this third set. So I think we're gonna go live again. Um, if both teams are ready. We're gonna have going on the uh, last set 9 to 1 at the moment for frontline tactics. So they have it in the back. Um, only rounds uh, which will which will count as we can see um, frontline tactics is gonna gonna change something up um, we'll see what their lineup is gonna be um, what's very interesting only playing with one archer rainbow though um, but he really did a great job especially in those first uh, two rounds I can't say in the last round, that actually, no, actually the fifth round of the third set, I was just getting into the archer fight there between Keanu and Rainbow. Very unfortunate I missed that out, to be honest. Um, in, in, the, in the little shed over there in the... Um, at the tunnel? Not the tunnel, how do you say it? Um, just kind of a wooden bridge? <laughs> House bridge or something? Uh, let's call it that way. Um, and... Yeah, then I just lagged out, so I don't have the, the last moments of the um, of the fifth round of the third set, but it went in favor of frontline tactics. Um, so yeah, I think for for GP, it's really now trying to trying to get some rounds, um, getting getting something back because I think they deserve a little bit more than the score shows. On the other hand, frontline tactics is very dominant, though they. 
they really are getting their kills and uh, finishing everything up really easily. If you see those guys play, you think like, ah, Mine and Blade, it's, it's a, such an easy game, but it's not. Um, it's it's way harder than I think most people who watch this and don't have experience in the game um, think it is. But as you can see, Frontline Tactics, just they're, they're just having the, you know, like first world problem of too many good players in one team, so they now need to see who they drop um, I don't know is this live uh, no this isn't live I see them fighting uh, not live so we're gonna have a rehost and then we're gonna go into the last set of this game frontline tactics versus geese back and I have my streamer mod and it should be nine versus one there we go. Oh, and I took a screenshot. Perfect. Beautiful. Um, so as you can see, GP now taking exactly the same position as Frontline Tactics. Just at the tunnels. They're actually... No, they're not going to go down the tunnels. And Frontline Tactics just going to take the well. Most, most standard positions. Um, we have two archers on Frontline Tactics side this time. Raiden and Sparta. And we have also two archers... On GP side, and again, they also have three cavalry, so we will see if this will work out in their favor. And now we're gonna have again the standoff for the flag. So we will probably talk to you guys in again in one minute, or maybe not. No, GP is gonna start pushing for this flag, maybe. No, just gonna, yeah, they're go they are gonna go pushing for the flag. And we got some archer here, I don't know who it is, it's Raiden, and on the other side, we have Sparta. Just getting out those uh, crossfires, really nice. And I think maybe that was what, like, GP didn't manage to set up was the crossfire that, as you can see now, is just holding them back, really. Um, we got some supportive range there from Keanu, and I don't know where the other archer is from GP. Yeah, there's Watley. He's uh, also trying to get some shots on, but GP now is raising the flag, ladies and gentlemen. And... That's that's something new. Raising the flag before the one minute mark is over. So uh, that that's what I like to see. GP they need to change that up, and that's what they're doing right now. They're taking the advantage of their position and just starting to raise the flag. Raiden is trying to get some shots, but nobody is hurt yet except for Sirkin, the calf. I don't know how he got hit there or lost his health. Same as Sparta though. Um, probably by an archer. It's Raiden down there. I don't see Sparta really. I think he's... Oh no, he's waiting there. And then the fight is going on. Kiana with a nice kill onto either. But Sir Alex again, of course, with the calf kill. But now getting killed off by Watley. And that's very surprising. And that's a team kill for Frunian. That's very unfortunate. And Raiden with a triple kill though. Bringing it back for frontline tactics. Because it seemed to be going in favor of GP there. And now Sir Gibby is still alive and it's he's going to try and get a kill but he gets killed off though. Um, GP bringing it back more evenly but the flag is still in favor of GP though. So they just need to stay on the flag. Frunion trying to get a calf kill down there. Raiden with a sword kill. He's like when I don't have a triple kill of an archer I'm just going to go in with my scimitar. And now it's only Pepper left and he's just going to get surrounded. And a double kill for Charlini. But more importantly, a 4k for Raiden. Stepping it up with a triple kill as Archer. And then just finishing someone off with Skimitar. Very impressed by Raiden's performance this round. And should I say... I need to switch sides of course. It's nine, 10 to 1 sorry, for uh, frontline tactics. And yeah, it just... It just keeps going. Frontline Tactics just keeps on rumbling it out. And it's it's no surprise they are uh, favorites of, to win this league actually. So uh, we'll have to see if they will actually win it. But for the moment they're on top of the leaderboard. As you can see GP now going to start pushing from tower. And Frunion with a nice try to his horse takes a lot of damage there. 
Um, and himself takes a little bit of damage as well. It's frontline tactics. It's just gonna start pushing up the ladders, uh, the stairs. Sorry, uh, to the tower. GP got the flag spawn in their favor, but they actually really pushed forward. Maybe a bit too aggressive. I don't know. Um, of course, you never know where the flag is gonna spawn. It's Watley who's gonna just start raising the flag already, and this is gonna be very much in favor of. Um, GP, if they maybe they should have tried to hold that door. Wait, maybe just try to hold them there. Um, but there comes in the calf to try and help out the uh, infantry because frontline tactics again, infantry is doing the job. So Gibby with a double kill there, just clearing it out. Pa uh, Raiden gets a kill as well. Pepper kills Frunian, and Sir Alex, of course, also with a kill. Uh, it doesn't surprise to see all these names, but also Eder and Sparta picking up kills. It's not it's not only Raidens, Sir Gibby and Sir Alex. It's the whole of frontline tactics, just getting the kills down. And and as you can see, it's a seven versus one right now. Watley's the only one alive. He's just gonna have a, a little skirmish here on his horse. Uh sorry, wait, where is it? Oh I missed him. Uh there he is, fighting with Sir Alex. And now Charlini comes in. Everyone just wants that kill. They have still 38 seconds to get him. Uh, but I think Watley would want to get some kills as well. But it's, it's Raiden just picking up his sixth kill of this set. Raiden just almost by his own just winning around for uh, frontline tactics there. Really stepping up the game. Um, so yeah, it's 11 to 1 in total, 2 to 0 this last set. So front-end tactics on match point, ready to clear this this one out fast and steady. Not giving any rounds. And Sir Alex horses horse takes some damage there from I think it was Liverin with a cross no. Must have been Who was it shooting? I don't I don't even know who it was. I think it was a Liverin. Uh, shooting and now it's again GP they are gonna start pushing for the flag and as you can see there's someone in tunnels for frontline tactics I don't know who it is but there is someone in tunnel um, he's gonna gonna get out of there soon um, and frontline tactics are gonna try and set up again that that crossfire I think with a uh, Raiden and Sparta, I don't see Sparta though. Um, I think it's Sparta who was in tunnels. Oh no, he's there. He's over there. They have the crossfire set up, but it's going down here and kills everywhere. Just fighting inside this corner here. I, I can't I can't get track at the moment of who is killing who, but it's Pushek, Pepper getting kills for her GP. It's 5v4 in favor of GP right now, but Sir Alex there with a nice bump onto Puff. Either fighting mains down here as well and just Charlini just trying to stay alive really. Nobody's raising the flag. Pepper with another kill doing a great job there. Pushek as well. Both bringing it back for GP. Now Charlini is going to try and help out his friend. He gets Puff. Now only mains and Pushek but it's Keanu with a shot. But that was some great play and finally ladies and gentlemen we have a round back for GP. It's 2-11. It's not completely over yet. We still, we're still going. Uh, GP managed to finally get another round. They deserved it, and there was some uh, some great play from both Pepper and Pushek, really getting uh, like winning that round for their team, I think. And we're gonna see a standoff at the tower, I think, a little bit, just waiting for a flag. Ooh, that's that's a bold statement, uh, Matthew, right there. <laughs> uh, I have to say, I, I would say it otherwise. I think frontline tactic is is just showing up their game, and like GP, they have proved themselves. Like they they got to the second place, and I know a lot of teams were like very salty about it that they got this far, which I think. If they don't deserve it, 
like they wouldn't have have gotten that far to be honest. Like they we we will see it if they if they manage to stay in the the top 6. At least they will for at least one week. Um and I think they have a little bit more than that like uh, on like on the teams outside top 6 to get there. Um, but as you can see now, it's just going to be a stand of and we got again the frontline tactic train. This is this is a uh, it's got to be like the new tactic in in Mount and Blade, the train tactic. Just lining up, just they oh they they did know and now the fight is going to get on and that's a nice nice step there from mains on to get and that's that's just the frontline tactic. Kev coming in and just clearing it out and Keanu gets a kill though. GP gets a kill, but as you can see right there, that was just a clear swipe of frontline tactic. And now Sirkin is gonna try and, and do something back. But he's gonna get killed off by Fieta. And we still have what do we have here? Fighting at the tower. And it was Pepper, I think, fighting on the tower there. And Raiden with the team kill, unfortunately. But it's all over. 12-2 to 2 for Frontline Tactics. Once again, defeating their opponents with an um, like, unbelievable score right there. I think GP at least deserved one right more. Even though they like Frontline Tactics completely deserved this win. I think GP really deserved to get at least one round more after the two draws in set 3. Um... But yeah, as you can see from this this match, frontline tactics really dominating, dominating the WNL six, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy the stream. Uh, I had a lot of trouble starting, and in the middle I fell out as well. So I hope you still enjoyed it. Um, I don't know when I will be streaming another match. There were a couple of matches today at the same time, so uh, you can check it out on the forum. Um, you might also find some other streams of the other matches there. Make sure to uh, just check the forum uh, on live streams if you want to see some other matches. Um, I want to thank both teams and especially Doom for giving me um, streamer mod every round. And well played to both teams. Um, and thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you all uh, all enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next stream. And Enjoy your day. Um, also, a happy new year to everyone. Um, we are 2018. So, uh, if you lived under a rock, the year has changed. Uh, but yeah, so uh, best of my wishes to everyone. And I hope we get uh, some more awesome matches this year. And I will see you guys next time.